So a very warm welcome to each one of you present over here. Can we have a huge round of applause? Come on. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us uh, over here. Moving ahead, everyone. This is Manipur Focus Session and Panel Discussion. This is World Food India 2024, third edition, Bharat Mandapam, New Delhi. So let's get started. And uh, yes, for that, I kindly request uh, Dr. Shalini Gaur, Senior Scientist, PhD, IARI, New Delhi. Please join us over here on the dice. Uh, and she will be talking about value addition of organic millets. I kindly request ma'am please join us on the podium and uh, yes uh, let's welcome her all together and uh, yes she'll be uh, telling more us about uh, value addition of organic millets. Over to you ma'am, heartiest welcome. Uh, uh, very good afternoon to everyone. Uh, can you please upload my presentation? Yeah, so um, this being uh, almost past lunch hour, I'll, I'll just emphasize more on the value of health and healthy food in your diet. And uh, the buzzword has been millets. And uh, uh, of course, we have uh, like uh, woken up to these millets and warmed up to these millets only now. But then these millets are the ancient grains of India. and. Uh, they have been traditionally uh, been a part of our meals uh, for for since centuries and uh, they are the ones which are offering us the uh, requisite for our health and sustainability for the problems which we are uh, facing right now like that is uh, the arid arid zone cultivation depleting water resources uh, we are having so much uh, so much of pest resistance and increased uh, dependence on uh, fertilizers, pesticides. So the, the, uh, the respite which is being offered is going back to our roots and identifying that what exactly was actually indigenous crop of India. And that is the one which we should actually bring forward. And is the, it, it, since it is naturally inherent that it is acclimatized to our, uh, our, uh, our climate, and uh, it is able to uh, bridge the vagaries of the nature and the climate, uh, we definitely would like to resort to our major and minor, uh, major and minor millet resources. And uh, we all know that among the millets we have, uh, I'll just introduce a bit, uh, among the major uh, millets that is based on the area of cultivation, we have pearl millet, sorghum and finger millet. And in the minor millets we have uh, plethora of uh, millets but then the major ones uh, among the minor millets that is just on the basis of cultivation are barnyard millet, little millet, kodo millet, foxtail millet, proso millet but along with that also we do have other, uh, other uh, crops which are also uh, underutilized and still possess a lot of nutrients and they should also be explored and this is uh, these crops are called pseudo cereals and in them we have amaranth that is the ramdana we have buckwheat that is a kuttu and we also have quinoa which belongs to the uh, chinopodium family that is normally called as bathua so um, a, a variant of bathua so in terms of the nutrition nutritional composition if you look at the uh, the highlighted portions in case we look at the rice, wheat and corn at the bottom, you can see that the values of protein, iron, fiber, calcium, zinc 
they are much much higher compared to the conventional grains and if you look into the uh, the rda that is recommended dietary allowances for all these nutrients you can see that uh, we require 50 to 60 grams of uh, protein per day and 100 grams of pearl millet or proso millet cultivation is going to give us 12.5 grams so similarly like iron in we need 28 to 30 uh, milligrams and then we are having almost 7 to 9 to 7 like it from different millets we have different, uh, different milligrams per 100 grams and if you look at the conventional grains they are having they are lacking these nutrients these micronutrients which are required in abundance and they are required for fighting the uh, the these uh, emerging diseases and zinc has emerged as one of the major contributors to immunity uh, just a graphical representation of the same that is where the conventional grains lie in terms of the iron fiber content i don't need to speak a lot the picture speaks itself just delve on it like this is the amount of iron which is present and we are like 60 to 70% of our population is anemic and we are the major millet cultivators so this they, they, this gives a thought to us that what is the gap yes. we are we are becoming the diabetic capital of the world and we do have fibrous crops amongst us yet we are not utilizing them so the answers lie here that is the utilization of these this is the uh, the graph for riboflavin that is vitamin b2 and for zinc so i don't need to emphasize more after looking at these graphs i'm sure you'll be convinced that these are the crops which need to be actually delved into for utilizing the potential of these crops as well as to tide over the nutritional micronutritional uh, micronutrient deficiencies amongst our population and apart from that like of course there there are various land races land races for uh, these millets and uh, not too much of uh, uh, varietal propagation has taken place however um, Uh, certain bio fortified millets are also being developed which will give you which which can actually uh, sir, uh, assure that okay well, if you grow this particular variety this much nutrient is definitely going to be there so for that like apart from the land races which are popular in different belts of india if we go in for the bio fortified millets um, uh, some of which uh, have been released recently uh, there are various varieties like a uh, pearl millet from pearl millet we have 1201 and 1801 variety from my own institute that is indian agricultural research institute we have a uh, uh, finger millet variety indravati uh, gira we have little millet variety also which has been developed recently and they assure that in case it is grown this is the amount of iron and zinc which is going to be at least there in the grain and that in case we go in for industrial production of the same then that can be utilized uh, very well for production of different foods of assured nutritional composition now uh, coming to the nutritional benefits uh, of course in the grains the major uh, component is carbohydrates and uh, it can be looked upon as a culprit also and it is required also because we need energy for working but then uh, in case we are looking for uh, solutions to diabetes and uh, weight management then uh, the resistant starch fraction also needs to be taken care of in the millets we have uh, carbohydrate content which is less the amount of starch is less dietary fiber is more and we have more of medium and resistant starch fractions which are um, a bit difficult to digest and they are the ones which are leading to formation of short chain fatty acids which is responsible for different uh, different brain functions and uh, over uh, and overcoming the immunity like uh, boosting the immunity and overriding the uh, various uh, lifestyle disorders uh, there since the fiber content is more the uh, gastric emptying time that is it retains longer in our gut so we don't feel hungry much we don't feel hungry soon so uh, and apart from that it has prebiotic activity that is it is good the, the fibers 
are going to be uh, food for the beneficial bacteria in our gut and uh, of course the glycemic index is less in terms of proteins um, we ha they, the proteins are having uh, the, the the millets they are having uh, all the four fractions of proteins however the uh, gluten protein is not there and uh, uh, the like the whatever uh, deficiencies are there in all the cereal proteins they are still there in the millet proteins also so uh, it's it like uh, since uh, wheat is supposed to be consumed with the, uh, with uh, pulses or rice is supposed to be consumed with pulses same applies for the millets also we need to consume these uh, pulses also along with uh, with millets uh, because the level of uh, cysteine and methionine is less However, the level of lysine is more. So, uh, various, various millets, they have different uh, functions, they have different compositions, and they should be utilized in their own fractions to develop, develop a complete protein meal. In case we look into the millet, into the lipids, the lipids are also there in some of the millets, that is uh, in pearl millet, foxtail millet, we do have, and, and in little millet also, we do have some 4 to 5 percent of fat also however that fat is beneficial because most of the fat is unsaturated in nature that is 75 percent of the fatty acids are unsaturated in nature uh, in case we want to look for specific solutions that is if we were are focusing on calcium then finger millet is the one which we should uh, choose in case we want iron in, uh, in enrichment we should go in for pearl millet Kodo millet and barnyard millet. In case we are looking for copper in our food, then it should be the choice should be kodo uh, millet and proso millet. For manganese, which is responsible for uh, for good sleep, uh, sleep disorders are also now nowadays uh, prevalent. So for good sleep, we need manganese. For chromium, we should go for little millet. So uh, again, for vitamin D, in case we have uh, enough vitamin D in our food. We can get calcium also from our millets, and uh, these are the various um, various uh, lifestyle disorders which millets can serve, and they are the ones which are uh, which are going to emerge as superfoods against the hypo vitamin uh, against like lower amount of vitamin D also. However, they need to be processed in proper fashion. Um, if we look into the pearl millet, which because uh, like North India being a pearl millet belt, we do have uh, pearl millet in the 58% of the uh, area in Rajasthan and also in Uttar Pradesh. Again, in Manipur also, there's substantial amount of pearl millet production. Uh, there has, uh, it has good amount of unsaturated fatty acids and good quality protein. Uh, again, uh, these are the various uh, antioxidant compounds and phenolic acids which are there in uh, millets or particularly in pearl millet which have so many health benefits if we look into finger millet finger millet again as i've told you earlier that it is a very good source of calcium magnesium and fiber and uh, the protein is relatively balanced that is it has more amount of lysine threonine and valine than other millets which which uh, which are uh, essential amino acids uh, beyond that it has been f its consumption has been found beneficial to overcome the problems which are faced by the diabetic people that is uh, enhanced uh, recovery rate in the diabetic people for for wounds for reducing uh, cholesterol levels and also for um, overcoming various uh, uh, like uh, various carcinogenic cells, uh, their uh, growth has been disrupted. Kodo uh, millet, if you say Kodo millet is inherent uh, indigenous for India and in Madhya Pradesh and in, uh, in the north, in the eastern region of the country, Kodo millet is very easily grown and it is a very good source of uh, antioxidants and fiber and one of my favorite uh, uh, favorite millets to work upon because it is very easy to process it process into any pasta noodles uh, or any other traditional foods like chakli puris drinks extruded snacks vadas 
uh, it doesn't pose any problem even though it is a good source of fiber and antioxidants compared to the other millets we have relatively uh, e it is much easier to in incorporate kodu millet into foods uh, easily without any much um, any major modification however in case we want to derive more benefit out of millets as i said earlier that we need to process it correctly then the correct in the in the in terms of correction of these uh, um, enhancing the bio accessibility of nutrients from these millets we we may go in for germination or uh, sprouting before we use because that leads to higher bio accessibility that is uh, the amount of soluble uh, uh, phytochemicals that enhances as you can see in terms of kodu millet the uh, the total phenolic content increased um, from 232 like from uh, 83 to 91% then it in minerals also increased and uh, the anti nutritional factors that is the tannins and the phytate content they decreased and they are the ones which are responsible for preventing the absorption of nutrients uh, again one of the other millets is little millet which is again a very good source of dietary fiber and that is uh, again uh, only in india it was originated in india and uh, it has iron magnesium and zinc and uh, when it, when you roast it it gives a beautiful aroma so that aroma aromatic compound is identified close to that of rice so um, little millet can be easily uh, uh, formulated into various fragrant foods where uh, where the aroma is required uh, foxtail millet also grows in the uh, eastern region and very rich source of vitamins as well as uh, nutrients uh, micronutrients uh, it is uh, it has demonstrated that it can correct it can prevent the growth of uh, 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 stomach cancer it can reduce cholesterol levels and also um, help in the liver cell uh, recovery barnyard millet again it is very rich source of zinc and fiber it, it, uh, the best part is that it is bland it can easily replace rice in dishes and uh, it can slow down it is beneficial for cancer and also for diabetics uh one more uh, crop which is uh, of uh, horticultural origin is quinoa that is uh, belongs to the chinopodium family uh quinoa is uh, is grown in it can be grown in arid regions and um, it is a very good source of vitamins good quality uh, proteins uh, also antioxidants and uh, minerals you can see that calcium iron potassium uh, magnesium is there and then the the bio accessibility that is the amount which we are consuming not all of it is absorbed in our body so how much exactly is available to our body that is the bio availability so iron content in quinoa is pretty high and that is also absorbed readily so in iari where i work we have developed various quinoa quinoa based snacks uh, you can see various savories uh, various uh, gluten free muffins with low fat um uh, apart from that in icr we have indian institute of millet research we have aicrp on pearl millet little millets also nbpgr uh, a center working only for under utilized crops so various products uh, have been developed and technologies are ready for uh, for uh, transferring to the farmers or the farmer producer organizations um then we have the various effects of processing we have and uh, uh another thing which is of various uh, like we have been working in iara that is uh, extrusion of millets extrusion processing uh, is very popular for making uh, not only just the snack foods which we eat like uh, the extruded snacks uh, like fun flips or cracks or something but then uh, it extruded extrusion has other benefits also for treatment pre treatment of food materials and those pre treated floors when they are used for making other products like breads or chapatis or any other uh, foods then they are having a better uh, better amenability to pro uh, to processing and uh, the various uh, various proteins and the starch uh, uh, modifications are taking place some of these changes are shown in terms of um, 
the amino acids these are blue in color we have uh, various bonds which are being broken and reorganization of starches and proteins and that uh, so the ex uh, extruded floor from the millets that finds a very good uh, uh, very good uh, uh, use in various produ process products this is one way in which we can we find out the uh, yeah one way in which we can uh, find out whether it is amenable to processing so when we uh, use the this is rva curve so when we uh, sprout these millets and then roast them then this is much more uh, closer to wheat and uh, these are some of the products which have been developed in ira we have uh, pastas from various millets even uh, gluten free pasta without any semolina or wheat uh, based on minor millets we have various breads extruded foods baked goods uh, chapati mixes pearl pops laddus and uh, even uh, pearl millet noodles instant noodles uh, gluten free pastas these are the various baked foods and uh, various thesis and uh, village demonstrations we have been doing for uh, for uh, for spreading awareness on the uh, use of millets and uh, we are open to any associations with uh, for training and uh, transfer of technologies in case anybody is interested thank you so much yes thank you uh, if any one wants uh, one or two uh, questions or anything this yes. very short because we are running in sort of uh prosumilit is cultivated uh, across the madhya pradesh and maharashtra belt and even in chatisgarh yes sir. yes sir. uh sir the yield is comparable as of now but then the best part is that they are resistant to most of the other uh, rust smut and other diseases for which uh, the farmers do not need to use any chemicals yes sir uh you need to contact uh, the breeders i can provide you the details which which yeah. which crop no you, you yes no that we we can uh, process uh, of course you will not get in bulk but initially we can ask them and then we can multiply it yeah we will get i hope she will coordinate for that yes, not sir. only for that uh, even for the value addition you may please uh, have the training programs uh, we will be deputing i i with the initiation of the director of horticulture definitely we will be sending some trainees who are selected uh, because millet uh, we have the problem of uh and even rainforest in the hills particularly millet is very uh, good crop and the only problem with us is there was no marketing there was no processing so if you have a good package for processing technology that definitely i think uh, our farmers will benefit it particularly organic millets so that is one any other yeah i would like to differ a bit uh, you what you're saying is correct that yes uh, the processing is manual our existing machines are not able to cater to the small size uh, and and the different uh, uh, the variations in sizes of the various uh, 
uh, millets which are there but then uh, icar has an engine agricultural engineering division and various uh, institutes across icar have developed uh, machines for handling these uh, millets and uh, uh, like there are there are many machines which are available at low cost ಕೇಂದ್ರೀಯಿಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ಟ್ರೀಪಲ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಪಲ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಪಲ್ಸ್ಟ್ರ
one side government gives on a one rupee per kg rice it will be giving other side you are asking miller to consume how people after consuming the rice and wheat do you think so easy for the people to come out to millet so first of all in dharwad agriculture university people i mean agriculture scientists are they are going to homes to practice consuming millets you know i don't know you know or not see millet consumption is a very big problem is a very practical problem i'm telling you so many people are growing but we are we, i mean growing is very little yield is little because of its own limitations so this is my experience considered thank here. you so much in fact uh, i also said it from bangalore i know how to take ragi but uh, we have our own traditional millet crops already uh, preferred since in the, uh, uh, long back so uh, fox tail is one millet so we have identified uh, your ragi fox tail uh, bajra and sorghum and even uh, job steer also it is grown all, of course it was grown for breeding purpose so those things what we are focusing is not for our own consumption what we are uh, targeting is high value with organic package and uh, for export or for whatever that's why we are coming here no okay uh, correct, please correct, correct. no please what we are telling is we want your uh, expertise of the processing but we are not going to replace rice with millet because we have so many examples of some rice also no please come in yeah. contact with cfta director sure, sure, it will sure. be we'll, helpful we'll to you we'll take uh, your advice very we'll much thank that's you that's so first point we'll another why do you grow a finger millet because that is the only i mean cereal having highest amount of calcium you get 300 mg of calcium per 100 g of ragi which you don't find any of the cereals in the world so that is why finger millet also when you consume finger millet the digestion takes place very slowly probably that is my phd thesis also when you take the starch of ragi and you go for the um, digestion part it it digests very 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 slowly that is another important point even i mean uh, category labor category they try to consume this finger millet ball and something which will be very substantial they can keep for quite long time that food digests very slowly I think our uh, Donald will please uh, go Thank to CFTRI stall and yeah, get please, please definitely even today, oh, Doctor uh, Doctor uh, Anupurna Singh has she has she has she has come. You can have a talk with her. Definitely, it will be helpful. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks a lot. Uh, we are running short of time. Let's move ahead. So we have uh, Professor Doctor N C Saha, former director, Indian Institute of Packaging, Government of India, and founder chairman, Foundation. of innovative packaging and sustainability he is here with us can we have huge round of applause for him uh i can you request sir please sit uh, let me take the names of the other panelists also they will be joining us on the dais on the stage and then we will be moving ahead with the uh, sir's presentation then we have uh, dr i megha chandra singh so he is a he is here with us former joint director retired icar manipur near region can we have huge round of applause for him He has been a wonderful speaker. Moving ahead, yes, I am inviting everyone, sir. Yeah, so we have uh, Shri Mukunda Murthy Rao, P M U M O V C D M E R. Please join us and grace the stage. We have uh, Shri K H Nimaichan Singh, P O M O M A, Agriculture Manipur. Please join us. We have uh, Shri Siddhant. Mehrotra director organic nature valley private limited please join us and grace the stage and also we have mrs pooja sharma director of chitraj millet private limited and president of chitraj self help group can we have her on stage oh she is on the way okay so let's get started and i kindly request uh, uh, professor dr nc saha please join us on the podium he will be talking uh, uh, about cost effective modern packaging technologies for food products of manipur fresh and processed so okay <laughs> sorry saying that is for limited time so i kindly request sir please wind it up in next 10 minutes please thank you very good afternoon i know that time is a constraint but the subject is too long and the many experts are here uh, first of all uh, i would like to express my sincere thanks to mr devdot sharma the director director of horticulture and soil conservation the government of manipur 
he is the person who is behind me to bring me from Mumbai to here and to be here at the World Food India. You will be surprised that I'm not going to talk on food, but I'm going to talk on uh, packaging. In fact, uh, the person, the scientist from CFTRI, I am also from CFTRI. We are all the alumni of CFTRI. I'm also a food technologist, but I switched over to packaging almost 32 years back and I joined in Indian Institute of Packaging in 1987, worked for 32 years. Almost 10,000 students I have in the market. And today we find anything we talk on food, you need packaging. Without packaging, nothing can go from your factory to the consumer. So uh, going back, uh, before I speak about uh, the products from Manipur, I thought I'll just take a round of few slides to give an entirely idea because it's altogether a different industry called the packaging industry. It's not a food processing industry. You'll be surprised or little, you'll be excited to know that how this packaging industry across the world is working. Because I have a pleasure to be the Vice President of World Packaging Organization. About 52 countries of the world represent the global scenario what the packaging industry is doing. Uh, across the world, we find in 2019, it is around 917 billion US dollar. But in this current year, it's about 1.05 trillion US dollar of the packaging industry alone. I have had a round about hall number two to five. You from the numerous kind of products, all are packed product. Start from paperboard, plastic, laminate, glass bottle, metal container, everything is packaging. Any processed food, even the fresh food, can't reach from after harvesting, what we talk on post-harvest technology and CFTRI. Nothing can move from the factory to the consumer without packaging. And that's where the packaging consumption is too much. If you look at about, uh, that's my uh, Smith and Pira that would say that, about more than 50 million people who are the organized company, uh, only I'm talking about organized, more than 200,000 industry who are the organized across the world. But otherwise in India alone, we have got 35,000 packaging industry. You will be shocked because 20,000 packaging industry only on corrugated fiber board box. But very interestingly, out of 35,000 industry, including Reliance, that's also a packaging industry because that makes the raw material of the plastic. It 90% comes under MSME. So the packaging industry in prime emphasis, these are all the MSM industry and they are actually catering the demand, the GDP around 2.5% growth of GDP, which is contributing to the packaging industry. Asia is the largest, if you talk about the global scenario, the largest market in the world consumption next to North America and Western Europe. The reason is very clear because the consumption of food and pharmaceutical and cosmetics is too much. And you find in Asia, India and China, the largest populated country, 1.4 billion. We ourselves, almost 40% of the total world population, 7.2 billion. Two countries, we have almost 2.7 billion. So that shows that how much consumption you need for food and pharmaceutical and cosmetics and the packaging consumption is going up. Across the world, the packaging consumption, the industry is growing around 2.8%. More and more demand today, few slides I saw that and some of the industry is talking sustainability. Yes, uh, after my uh, IIP, Indian Institute of Packaging, when I took out, now I took, uh, I'm a professor emeritus on Indian Institute of Management in Mumbai and we talk on sustainable packaging because we are trying to save the, our planet. Everybody talks about the green planet. Many of you may not be knowing that what is the behind this whole concept of sustainability. This sustainability, why all of the last 10 years it has become a so hue and cry. Why not last 50 years back, 20 years back, we should have thought of it. It's only happened in 2015 when the United Nations thought of it that we feel uh, they have a study and the population came that United Nations census has come. The today the world population is 7.2 billion. 2050 the population will be 10 billion. They realized that when the 10 billion population will come in 2050, the planet, what we are living all, the planet, the land is fixed, your water is fixed, your all the atmosphere fixed, that means resources are fixed. So if the resources are fixed and population is going up, what would happen to my next generation, my grandchildren over the grandchildren? That is the whole issue has started in 2015. Everybody is thinking then how to save the planet. And that's the whole thing we are talking about, carbon emission, the plastics and whatnot we are coming, which is making a creation. I thought just the background say this is the way the last 10 years, now also I do work for the sustainable packaging. We are promoting the sustainable packaging, uh, you know, reduction of the plastics and go to the other material. Uh, if you look at about the top 10 industry segment, packaging comes on the ninth position across the world I'm talking. 
Across the world, you find the Asia Pacific very obvious. The consumption is around 38 percent, followed by Europe around 28 percent, America 22 percent. But Asia, of course, on the top because of the high populated country, high populated region on the Asian region. Segment-wise, that's caused the World Food India why so much important on packaging. Food and beverage alone, 56 percent consumption comes until the consumption of packaging cause of food and beverage and followed by cosmetics and farm and other product and that's why we are so much concerned your food safety standards authority of india there is a food packaging law i was the chairing of the fssi committee we have made it that how food safety should be done everywhere concerned about the safety of food the material and product should not react together how best you can save for the human consumption that's why we find the food and beverage alone 56 percent consumption across the global is coming there are many packaging material, but I thought this is the slide I must show you because across the world, everybody is talking about plastics, reduction of plastics. Even Prime Minister talks about the plastics. Many forum, he is doing monkey bath, he is talking about the plastic reduction. I have almost eight to 10,000 students in the market who are working in all the FMCG companies, start from Unilever, Godrej, and everywhere. They are all worried what to do, what is the alternative to plastics. You believe me, across the world, all the scientists are working, but there is, as of today, there is no alternative to plastics. We do keep on the bioplastics, we talk on um, uh, biodegradable plastic, but these are all myth to you. When you talk about food product, first intention is you need to have a preservation, the product need to be saved, the shelf life to be increased, no bioplastic, no biodegradable material can help you. I'll give you a few slides, you will understand all the myth will be removed. And that's why when you talk about biodegradable plastics, I am in many committee, in the, even in the Ministry of uh, Forest Environment Committee, I'm in the Task Force Committee. I said that if you talk about biodegradable plastic, don't talk on packaging. This go on it together. Biodegradable plastic gets degradation by the microbes. And I'm talking packaging, I need to preserve my food. How do I do it? This is just contrast uh, properties, it cannot happen. This slide I want to show you because the paper, plastic, glass, metal, whatever you talk. Today, the victimized is the flexible packaging material. You have gone through this exhibition, start from Haldiram to Bikaji, everywhere people have the shining material, which is a plastic. It's not a single layer plastic, it's a multi-layer plastic. It's, a, it's not a single layer MLP, which is a multi-layer plastic packaging material that has become today the whole hue and cry across the world. And it is not that industry has just developed it. It is by because of the compulsion they have died. For example, if you have a potato, which is a starch, the potato you want to make a chips, the chips you fried in oil, it's an oxidation, so you need an oxygen barrier. You, after that, you just put a sprinkle of spices, you need a, you need a moisture barrier, an oxygen barrier, an aroma barrier, all the barrier you want to need it. So you have a polyethylene, which is a good moisture barrier, very poor in oxygen barrier. You have a polyester, very good oxygen barrier, very poor in moisture barrier. So you do sandwich it. So you make a polyester poly, but you also need a light barrier. So you need a metallized polyester. You become three layer structure. That's the way the structure is going up. You tetra pack fruity, what is called aseptic packaging, six layer structure. Structure has not come just by compulsion. It has come because of the product. The food product is so complicated. Different product is a different nature, different demand. And the packaging man has to satisfy it to get a longer life. Flexible packaging, despite of having so much criticism across the world, the consumption is going up and up. It was 26.9 million going to 35. And we are expecting 26. It will be 37.5 million of flexible packaging, which is mostly single layer and MLP and everything. What's about India? India, it is the fifth largest packaging industry. Indian packaging is the largest fifth. And it is the manufacturing hub. You will be surprising India, there are about almost 25 companies who are, who are making the product and send it to abroad. 96 countries are being exported from India, the packaging material. Today it is considered as one of the manufacturing hub. We have everything. Our growth is market size only in Indian market size around 84.37 billion in 24. And we're expecting 142.56 billion by 29 with a CAGR growth of every year 11.6%. There is steady growth we find the last couple of years. Interestingly, even 2020 COVID-19 when it happened, every industry was closed. Your April segment, your entertainment industry is growing. Packaging industry, there was no slowdown. And that's the way the packaging industry, we are all in the locked room, but you are getting Maggie noodles, everything. Biscuits are coming, chocolates are coming. How? Because packaging has been considered as one of the essential commodity and essential industry it came. 
In India also, if you talk about the packaging uh, consumption, we find 61% consumption of packaging is food product. And that's why the World Food India, where we need more and more emphasis on food. I'll come on the farm, I'll talk about the various products from Manipur and what are the technologies available and what can be really leveraged to the Manipur state. You find the various kinds of products, start from milk, dairy, convenience, all kinds of products, 61% products which is used for packaging consumption on food product. Now what's packaging? Everybody say, is it a science, it is art, it is a technology, and we say when I teach to my students a combination of science, art, technology all together. Today it is not a packing, just wrap the product and put to the market. This is only in Diwali gift you can do a wrapping the product. But when you say packaging, it's a real science, it's a system. It starts from the production, storage, distribution, retailing up to the end use. If the consumer makes a complaint to your consumer forum, immediately the product has to be withdrawn from the market because there is something has happened in one product and you can go to the court and do it. So it's an entire system which is a coordinated system, transport, transport, distribution, retailing and everywhere it goes. It also says that it's very important for the protection, of course the product, food product to reach to the destination from Manipur all the way it goes to the Bombay market or South market and it's also good for marketing, but most important is consumer satisfaction. Today the modern consumer, they are very finicky. Everybody is asking organic food and all. I'm not going to talk about discussion part, but organic food, how to store it and all. So consumer is very much sensitive. And we always say that for packaging technology, it is driven by the consumer. If the consumer say, I need a red color pack, it has to be a red color. Why red color? There is no justification because consumer needs it. All the spices in the market, have you watched or not, it all comes with red. Because red is a color in the vid year when you talk on the sunlight, the rainbow, the red is a color which is a pungency, which is a hue content is high, and red means is very hot. That's a, all the spice pack, you find a red color. This is all the scientific knowledge when the design is done in a packet, because the consumer demand, we have to go by the consumer satisfaction. Otherwise, it's a very complex, dynamic, scientific, very artistic and the controversial, one important thing is called first moment of truth. You go to any shop, Haldi Ram or Bikaji or any other product, you just first touch the product. If the packet is good, you just love to buy it. You never think about the content. But nowadays, of course, you start reading the ingredients, you start the, the you find the FSSI regulation, what is the safety, what is the, you know, the expiry date and so on. The first is called the first moment of truth, that's called the packaging. Packaging has a huge responsibility. And those who are passing out from my institute, almost 10,000 students are working in the market. They have a huge responsibility. They are not talking packing, they're wrapping the product put to the market as they only gift. This is a packaging which is a hermetically sealed container. The moment you sealed it, uh, there was a hue and cry when the, you know, the environment ministry, they wanted to reduce the thickness of the carry bag. And I was the director, there was a parliament question. I just refused to comment. I said the carry bag is not a packaging. The moment you seal it, it becomes packaging. Otherwise, carry bag is just a container. You just carry from one place to another place. But the moment you seal it, it becomes packaging. That's why we say hermetically sealed container. It could be a plastic, could be a glass, could be a metal and so on. But you have a huge responsibility. You need to protect the product, food product, preservation, presentation. You need to communicate to the consumer through your labeling. You have to give a safety aspect like FSSI logo is there or not. You have to talk about the logistic, the product to reach to the destination. And more importantly, the branding. All the brands are coming through the packet. You know the Haldi Ram or any brand, it's all coming through the packet. And that's why we say the packaging, which is a tool or instrument for marketing. But Consumer, on the left hand side, right hand side, the consumer, they look for many, many demand they are asking. They want a packaging, it should be high mechanical strength, so it should not break. It should be sealability, printability, it should be see-through, and it should be formability if it is a rigid container, high barrier, moisture, gas to barrier, safety, compatibility, and of course, economic and availability. So all these suspects you need to satisfy, and that's why we say it's a combination, it's a very structured, structured start from production, packing, storage, distribution, supply chain, marketing, network, retail, and finally the consumer. Everyone is responsible when you're talking about sustainable packaging. I do run a foundation for packaging education. The foundation, we are running a conference every year called annual conference called Responsible Packaging. 
in short form called RESPAC. It's not only the material person, it's the material, machinery, technology, and the end user need to know what is my responsibility to save the planet. What would happen to 10 billion population by 2050? That's why responsible packaging becomes very important, and that's the very complex system of the exhausted system. Come to Manipur is one of the northeastern states and we know seven sister and one brother Sikkim is brother and seven sister one of the sister is Manipur having a subtropical climate I find most of the fruits are already growing but few of the fruits I have taken like pineapple the kiwi and queen I saw in their stall it's a nicely they have arranged it but I am told that one of the stall that they, are, uh, they have flew from Manipur to Imphal to Delhi uh, by, by flight they cannot take it by the road because road condition is bad, the shelf life is, the whole thing goes back to the shelf life because they are all perishable. Now there is a need for a technology how to improve the shelf life. I'll give you some of the success story maybe you will be interested to know. Mandarin, Goa, Papaya, Lemon, these are the, all the fruits are grown in Manipur. There are few temperature fruits like uh, pear, peach, plum. We don't get plum in M Mumbai because very expensive the plum all comes from the northeast and the very products are all growing in Manipur. We also get all kind of vegetables in Manipur, uh, start from because this is a subtropical climatic condition, pumpkin, bottle gourd and so on. Most importantly, we got a spices. I was very amazed to see the kind of and the size of a ginger and uh, you have a size of um, uh, turmeric, which is uh, shown in their Manipur state um, pavilion. That how big, I was just talking that how soon we can bring from Manipur, from Imphal to Bombay market or Delhi market. The, everything goes back in one problem, the transportation and storage and the shelf life. That becomes a very important issue for you. Few of the uh, product which is a processed food which I find that I have searched it in Manipur what's happening. Very big is a bamboo shoot. It's one of the very delicious food and they make the pickles. They have a canned vegetable, fruits beverage, garlic pickles. They have a dry fish pickles, alcoholic beverage and so much product they are doing and all they are uh, doing and they are packing and all. Now question comes, uh, you have a problem about that, what is the technology behind the innovative packaging which I am supposed to speak here. I have a 10 minutes time. Okay. Now, when you talk about fresh and processed, I always say to my students, the four mantra you should understand. First mantra is, who are you? Who are you? The product will start speaking itself that I am so and so. For example, if I have a potato chips, the chips say that I am a chips made from potato, is a starch content, dried in, it was a moisture, my moisture contains only 3%, it was sun dried, I was fried in oil, so I am, uh, and, and then it is a sprinkle or the spice. This is all the who are you, what the product say. Second question comes, how are you? Products are stocking, don't put me in outside without cover, I will get oxidized because I am fried in oil. Don't put me in outside because environment has got a humidity. I am only 3% moisture as per science, you know, all of you, that it will come in equilibrium. So I'll pick up the moisture, it becomes soft, soggy, stick to my teeth, I don't like it. So I need moisture barrier, I need an oxygen barrier. I also say that it's a flavor product, don't put me in outside because I'll lose it. There is a case when the export is happening along with your flavored product, you put a kerosene tin, it just picks up the kerosene because that is more stronger, but that's an inorganic and that's an organic. That's a problem. So I am also an odor barrier. I have also problem some product if you have an oxidation happen, if the sunlight has gone ultraviolet light, it comes UV light acts as a catalyst effect to accelerate the oxidation reaction. So I need many problems. So how are you gives you enough information. You need moisture barrier, gas barrier, oxygen barrier, light barrier and so on. You need sealability and so on. Similarly, the third question comes, where do you stay? That means which climatic condition the product will be marketed. Is it a Kashmir or is it in a Manipur or is it in Mumbai or is it in a coastal area? Because climate has a huge impact on the product. It's a food product, huge impact, hygroscopic product picks up the moisture and that's a climate is become very important, which climate I'm going to market it. And the last question comes, how long? What is the life you're really expecting? Is it a one day life? If it is a product, is a high selling brand product, I'll not name some of the brand, their product is so fast moving, their packet size was earlier, chips packet was 10 gram packet was this size, now there's this size, the cost is same. You mean to say they are flushing with the nitrogen gas? Sorry, they are flushing with air. Because they don't need nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is expensive because next day product is sold. 
So it all depends how long you are in the life. If you are doing an Indian market, zonal market, local market, export market, depending on that, how are you becomes important. So who are you? How are you? Where do you stay? How long? These become very important four question for the processed food. Come to fresh. Manipur has got a fresh product. Fresh is altogether different. It says that if you pluck it from harvest me, I'm still alive. You cut me, I'm still alive. You put me in water, I'm still alive. You start boiling, I am processed. So before it makes a post-harvest processing, I am still alive. This is I am alive, I need respiration. Please allow me breathing facility. If it not, then I will be spoiled. That's the reason you find all the fresh fruits has got a holes. This is called breathing holes. You are trying to allow it that percolation. It should allow you the respiration should happen. Carbon dioxide should go out. That's why the fresh food has got one demand that who are you product will say i am so and so madam has given about all these chemical constitutes and nutrition value and so on but how are you it says that if you don't put me you will be surprised the basmati rice many people they find the basmati rice if you put a, a three color polyester metallic polyester and poly many people they bag it the the basmati rice which is a flavored product of course you need a polyester to have ordered barrier but if you just close it hermetically sealed and keep it, you can't get basmati gas live more than two months. You will suddenly find the rice you will have come. Why? Because basmati rice, it is not a live product. But very interesting story of the rice, rice needs aeration, ventilation. That's why the same rice, if I put in a gully bag, which has got a ventilation, the life is around one year. See, it all depends what kind of product, what is the demand accordingly you have to think of it. Now, as on today, across the world, certain technology which is already available, one is the technology called breathing film. There is a film available, that film is it's not allowing leakage, but it allows breathe out, which is need for fresh food. So, I am talking the technology for fresh so breathe out. So if it breathe out, it's not losing. That means the carbon dioxide gas is accumulating, is going out. So as a result, you can do it. But it has got a limitation because it's a packed product. Inside there will be certain oxygen. So oxygen level will keep on. Carbon dioxide gas will go up. So the life is become the breathing film is one of the important technology. Another technology called active modified atmosphere packaging. Atmosphere has got a three gas. 78% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, which we are respiring, and 0-3% carbon dioxide. This is the mixture. If I make a pack, I just I just change the mixture. Instead of 78% nitrogen, I put 78% carbon dioxide. I can do it. I can just modify it. And that's the exactly called modified atmosphere packaging. Use those three gas, but you modify the structure depending on the requirement of the product. I'll show you one of the success stories recently I did because I'm the technical expert to APDA. I just finished one of the study. I'll explain you next time. There is also a controlled atmosphere packaging. How do you control it? The oxygen and carbon dioxide is passing, but there's a fixed chamber we can do it. There's also active packaging. You might have seen that grapes pack. There is a small called grape guard. Nothing but is a silica gel which is absorbing. It's called moisture absorber. You got an oxygen scavenger. It just uh, it just take out absorb the oxygen gas. These are called active packaging. There's also technology which is fresh fruits called intelligent packaging. So there is a photochromatic. You see the slides. One of the slides, the blue color is already stale, but the yellow color is called fresh. So the color itself can indicate you without opening the product, and that's a sensor based. It's called intelligent packaging. So the fresh product has got, these are the various technology across the world, how really the fresh food you can do it. This is one of the success story recently, just one month back, we did a study, lychee. Today, from EPIDA, I've been struggling to export lychee from Muzapur for lychee, which has got the GI track, Sahi brand any from Bihar, to export to Dubai. But they cannot do it because from Muzapur to Delhi, for coming itself, it takes almost seven days time. Forget about even I don't get in Mumbai of Sahi brand. So lychee shelf life is only three days. Lychee is a very juicy product, delicious, lot of nutritional value, but it gets spoiled. So what to do? So there is a technology which is called active modified atmosphere packaging. So there is a film, that film has got a laser perforated film. It's not a breathing, it's a more than breathing. There is a patented technology developed by a Netherlands company 
called Perfotac VB. They have done it. It's a laser perforated, depending on the size of the bag. This bag, I have used it, put the lychee, and that lychee, first the, the breathing on the respiration holes, you don't know how many holes to be done. It's all has to be done based on the respiration rate. Respiration rate again depend on the maturity. It will depend on the soil condition, the different condition. Your fruit first you have to put into the breathometer, respirometer. It gives you respiration rate. Based on respiration rate, you have to make the holes, number of holes on a particular place. So this was a 5 kg bag. We have done the respiration rate of the lychee. This is from Dehradun lychee. And accordingly, we have done it. Pack it, put into a 5 degree centigrade on the chamber. And the study was carried out. The 3 day shelf life increased to 10 days. So Epida is very happy because 10 days is more than enough for them from Muzaffarpur 10 days after harvesting and 10 days it has come because this lychee from Dehradun it was purchased from Delhi market. Suppose I, I do it in the harvesting stage itself on the packing is done at the place of garden I think I'll get 14 days time. So within 14 days um, Epida is planning to do the next slot has to go to Dubai market. How do I export from GI product and all? So these are technology available, which we can really increase about the shelf life. A process, I say, who are you, how are you, all these things. There are many technologies like canning, pasteurization, aseptic packaging. Canning is very famous. Everybody knows the metal can where the product is pasteurized. Pasteurized milk we are getting every day early morning. Aseptic packaging, the pack product is sterile. Material is sterile, the environment is sterile, the sterile product, sterile material, sterile environment. So no question of septic means germ, aseptic there is no germ, as a result life is more. The example is fruity, you find in the market is an aseptic packaging. Very expensive because technology itself is a 10 crore, very cheap technology, 10 crore expense is there. We got a retort packaging which is nothing but the canning. Canning is a metal can, but the retort packaging what we are talking, these are all flexible packaging. So I can say in the other way, the flexible can is nothing but called retard. We got a hot filling, hot filling technique. We are not doing anything, you just do a hot filling, create a vacuum. We have a vacuum pack, which we can do the vacuum packaging, many vacuum present. That means you take out the air and flush it with nitrogen gas and high barrier packaging material, what you can do. Now on this, uh, I'll take another two minutes. One of the success stories you have done it. I will see in this packet, you can do the Google search and find on Amazon this product is available. This is a product which is in Bengal government. They gave this project. And uh, this is a product called date palm tree called Nalen Good, Khajur Good. Date is a Khajur Good with a date palm tree. You just put the picture overnight. The sap is collected. Next day you make a jaggery. The jaggery is so sensitive. It's a light sensitive. Every sensitive, the life is only five hours. Now this product was given to Indian Institute of Packaging. And I did the study and you will be happy to know the life has increased from 5 hours to 210 days, 7 months. And this is the first patent I got. It is a patent now for 15 years. I was just sharing with um, Devdoji that is a 15 years patent where I was invented for that. What we did, we didn't do anything, no preservative, nothing, hot filling. The structure was so different, the high oxygen barrier structure we made it. And patent came for two reasons. One was the life was increased. The second thing that it has come because nobody imagined that jaggery can be also used as a bread spread in the morning. So your food of it is changed. So that's why the kind of patent across the world today, null and good or a jaggery, nobody is using as a spread. But in India, the Bishop Bangla has already started. And uh, value addition in Bengal from November, December, January, February, four months, the liquid jaggery is selling 150 rupees per liter. This tube. Amazon is selling 90 rupees per 100 ml, 900 rupees per liter. That's called the value addition, what can be done by the technology called hot filling technology you can do. Now this is another success today I'm telling. There are many cues in, I was just taking from Manipur, from the sir. But how to do a cook food? I didn't say about cook food. You have to talk on fresh, you talk on process. The cook food has a different demand. Any dal makhani, you just make it and put into the fridge. Three days, it starts tailing the smell. Now, how to do it? And Manipur has got a huge kind of cuisine. They have got it. How to increase the life? But this is one of the success today. I just did it during COVID time. There is a, a chain of restaurant in Calcutta called Six Baliganj Road. Many people might be knowing. So they had a problem because 20 showroom was closed down and they want the queues in 26 variety like a chicken curry or fish curry, everything or rice has to reach to the home. 
So this is a technology called MAP technology modified atmosphere packaging. We have taken out entire oxygen mixture of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. We have flushed it and put it into four degree centigrade. The your chicken biryani or dal makhani life it has increased to 14 days, 12 days, nothing less than 10 days it has done by MAP technology. So you have a three different kinds of food. You come a fresh food, different demand, processed food, different demand, cooked food, different demand. Depending on the demand, you can really choose the technology. To, to summarize, advancement of food technology, I having a food technology from CFTR, I know what kind of uh, challenge I'm facing for the last 30 years as a packaging person. It makes more and more challenge that how really you store it, how do you preserve the product. And shelf life, it depends on four mantra. Who are you, how are you, where do you stay, and how long you want to stay. If you know these four mantra, you become a packaging, food packaging technologies. And based on that, the modern technology need to be adopted. I just close my session with the last uh, one Nobel laureate, Alfred Nobel. He said, if I have a thousand ideas in a year, only one turns not to be good, I am satisfied. I think that's our think of it and we can I think of it though so many technology take one technology, how best I can solve a problem of money food problem and I think that's the way the country to move. Thank you so much. Thanks for your passion. Thank you so much sir. Thanks a lot. Now I kindly request uh, Dr. I make Chandra Singh so please join us on, at the dais and uh, he will be talking uh, about traditional foods of Manipur. Before that, uh, if any questions, very only one. <laughs> so, how do you explain the HDP bags, which today HDP high density polyethylene bags, which is used to keep the food grains also, but the respiration, what you are telling, how it is? I mean, how are you going to explain about the functioning of HDP bags, which is generally used? because of the shortage of the jute in our country. So much jute bags are not available. So FCA is using this HDP bags. So you mean to, you mean to say that uh, HDP oven sack, what is yeah, used yeah, for yeah, that's food grain? Yeah. Okay, a good question. You see, uh, there was a jute product ordered by the agriculture ministry, but a jute, which you say the golden fiber, which is a very shortage because it's a seasonal product. So you have to really look about alternative because food grain needs to be transported logistically across the country need to be supplied. Now HDP, it's not only for HDP high density polyethylene, even polypropylene is also make oven sack. So from there we make a film, make a thread, oven, just weaving it and making a fabric. From the fabric we are doing, it has also got a breathing hole. So rice needs only not breathing, rice needs ventilation. Again and again, I am telling you, I have done study also, if you do a ventilation, the rice life will increase. If you close it, the rice will start after three months, even for basmati rice. So HDP is well accepted to the market because of a shortage of jute, fiber, we are all depending on, I think FCI is taking around 70, 30, 70% 70 yeah. plastic oven sack and 30% jute bag. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, I would like to add on to this, uh, sir. Like, uh, in fact, IARI has uh, recently developed, along with Gilchap, we have developed a uh, uh, woven, uh, woven uh, uh, sack uh, with jute and reinforced with uh, with uh, uh, polyethylene. And that has, uh, yeah, that composite is there and that has uh, pest resistant properties also. So that patent we are filing. So, thank you. Uh, good afternoon to one and all. Uh, just my, <coughs> I will just try to uh, take less time. My topic is on traditional food of Manipur. Uh, so uh, I am just speaking on behalf of the uh, horticulture department. Uh, so, uh, our director has requested me, so I am just uh, speaking. So, uh, if anything is there, we have to discuss. Of course, Manipur is very rich in uh, food uh, items, both in terms of vegetarian as well as non vegetarian, because we have a lot of uh, biodiversity as well as socio economy status and hill. Uh, conditions where we have different types 
of biodiversity. So we have a very small area, only 22,000 square kilometer. Uh, of course, uh, we are bordering Myanmar in the east and uh, uh, other states uh, like Assam, Nagaland, uh, and Mizoram. So we have, uh, being the subtropical, uh, sorry, uh, <coughs> sub Himalayan region, we have a wide range of, uh, micro of uh, uh, this uh, altitudes having different microclimates. So there is a hot spot of uh, biodiversity bought in agri uh, crops as well as uh, fauna animals. And uh, our population, as per our uh, uh, 2011, which was not accepted and uh, 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 counting was to be done, and presently it should be about 40 lakhs. Of course, we are not sure. And uh, with a growth of 18.65%. And uh, the main source from uh, food is from agriculture, horticulture, fisheries, forests, as well as animal and veterinary departments. So as I said, we have very less area. Even then, we have a large area under hills, which is predominantly occupied by the forest, which may not be exactly the present area and the forest. So we have percentage gross agriculture area to geographical area of about 16% only, which is very less. And again, horticulture, we have very less area, about one lot hectare. And uh, <coughs> uh, we have zoom land issues. Now which may be turning to some other issues. Uh, abandoned zoom land, 42,000 hectares and the current zoom land, 1.43 hect uh, lakh hectares. And again, we have a wetland. Those who have uh, visited Manipur must be knowing we have the largest freshwater lake in the Southeast Asia, that is called Loktak Lake, which is famous in the world. And uh, that is near the Indian uh, uh, National uh, <coughs> army uh, that uh, memorial is there where Nepa Netaji Subhachandra uh, was there and the, uh, the first tricolor flag was erected. So this is one issue is that we have very big problem for uh, food deficiency, particularly rice, and we are importing a huge amount from outside the states, of course uh, bringing inside. and. Uh, <coughs> As I said, uh, we have about 1,500 uh, rice jump plasms, which are adapted to different conditions, having different uh, characters, qualities, like black rice, deep water rice, upland rice, so many which has uh, unique uh, adaptation to different conditions and different tribes. And uh, we have nearly about 300 maize uh, be being the cross pollinated crop genotypes, and uh, as I mentioned, um, we have millets which are traditionally grown. Of course, uh, mm, ragi is introduced, and uh, there are many rapeseed mustard varieties. In addition, we have uh, unique GI tech crops like black rice, what we call as sakhau. Uh, mm, that is black aromatic rice, then uh, citrus, kasai lemon, and tamanglong orange, and serarokong chili. And it has a wide variation in number of horticulture crops, like pineapples, which are unique to our place. Tastes are different. Mangoes, being the Indo-Burma region, we have a wide range of uh, mangoes, particularly polyembryony varieties, and uh, different good varieties. Uh, of course, we are not commercially growing the mangoes in terms of orchards because we are not exploring the hill region. So that's what uh, the issue is there. And we have guavas, passion fruits, peas, plums, pears, Indian gurus berry, which is different from the mainland gooseberry. And uh, it is being uh, very 
of use in the medi uh, pharmaceutical industry. And wild apples, peas, chilies, beans, brinzels, tomatoes, potatoes, mushrooms, of course, wild edible mushrooms, and a number of underutilized crops. In addition, many wild unexplored forest plants or wetland plants are also being consumed, having different unique medicinal properties. <coughs> and uh, we have uh, even bamboo shoots, as mentioned. Uh, there are different ways of consuming bamboo shoots, fermented in types of fermented also we have four or five species having different uh, characters uh, and uh, different uh, uh, preparations. And forest tree leaves, shrubs, hundreds of uh, agro, uh, hundreds uh, in number, shrubs, different shrubs in the particular in the hills. Our uh, different tribes use different kinds of shrubs for different preparations. And then <coughs> uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, uh, since uh, in the hills we don't use the chemicals, uh, it is open tech as uh, organic by default. So these are some of the collections, uh, what we have in Asia. Uh, of course, uh, I am not putting all different collections of rice germplasms adapted to different conditions, including black, black rice, red rice, and uh, mostly we, ha we prefer sticky type. And these are uh, GI techs. Kasai lemon, Sierra Kong, and Tameng orange. And the uh, first is bamboo shoot. And uh, again, we have the next this uh, um, fermented bamboo shoot, what we call soy boom. Uh, people don't like it because of the smell, but uh, local people like it very much. Then uh, uh, while uh, <coughs> uh, what we call this uh, different uh, collections of uh, vegetables, gingival uh, seed family, what we call in Loklai, Pulai, Yaipal, uh, like that. Then we have the water wetland, uh, uh, these uh, plants, like uh, water, uh, this one, uh, <coughs> arrow roots. Then we have uh, cycas, we have ficus. So many plants are consumed. And very interesting one is lotus. We consume all parts of the lotus, including the stem, uh, this uh, uh, anthers, then the fruits, seeds, then the leaves, tender leaves. Of course, tender leaves, after maturing, it is used for uh, kisri. Uh, uh, serving the kisri is just over leaf, uh, turning the backside. It gives a peculiar aroma. During the Raj Yatra, it is a compulsion. And with that aroma only, the Kisri gives a taste. And uh, not the less, we use the roots in different preparations, like sabzi, then we have singju, like salad. We have uh, iromba, what we call after boiling, we mess with dry fish, fermented fish, like that. Different types of consumption. Of course, recently you must be knowing Manipuri, some people have started already. Lotus tea also from the petals. Then the uh, fibers are being extracted uh, from the stem, this uh, stalk. And we have the many other, like water hyacinths. Then uh, this <coughs> uh, Tangjing what you call makhana. We don't use makhana, but we take the fruit uh, seed after boiling. If it is uh, over matured, it is taken without uh, boiling. So it is consumed in iromba. So some like water mimosa, which is uh, very proteinaceous, then the different uh, water chestnut, then uh, some uh, semi-aquatic plants we have. Then tree wind. You must be knowing this Pakya Tribin, uh, Pakya Roxburghai. Of course, this is very costly. Now it is becoming extinct due to the uh, invasion by the different species of insects due to the global warming, and it is being threatened, except in some uh, high altitude areas like Okrul and Mao area. And, uh, because of low temperature, it is 
unable to grow due to the increasing number of the insects. Then haimang, then haibung. Haibung, it is a compulsion for the, this what we are, I have just shown in my first slide, where you will find a multiple cuisine. Then utum. Then three bin, uh, sorry, three bin is, oh, of course it should be there. This is the ficus. Then phaiza, a uh, shrub. Then we have cycus. In addition, we have a lot of wild edible mushrooms which are unable to be cultivated, domesticated. Uh, these are some of the uh, mushrooms having different preparations. And as I mentioned, this uh, kisri is there for Ratchatra being served on the, uh, over the lotus leaves, then black rice key, then peas we consume in different Pre uh, preparations not only not only in terms of uh, curry what uh, most of the Bengalis and Assami use we have that special preparations called atoiba means we semi fry them and put this uh, water and it is somewhat uh, pasty and it has a, a neat taste and people who comes there like it then we have uh, dry pieces dry pieces of course the, the, we have uh, different uh, species of pieces being dried uh, it is either semi dry or it is uh, just uh, dried uh, removing the moisture completely and we have snails oysters shrimps and a number of pieces. And this is one is uh, we have this um, uh, <coughs> state piece, what we call pengba, and then this uh, uh, walango, what we take uh, very, of course, now it is becoming extinct, so we are just growing, uh, bringing from outside. Um, it is carnivorous, so most of the pieces are consumed, so it is uh, risky in rearing, but uh, state government is trying to rear it because it is a must in uh, very expensive and uh, because of health point, uh, we are not trying to bring from outside. And another is uh, uh, fried dry, uh, sorry, <coughs> this uh, fermented fish, we call nari for uh, satni, then snails. So uh, in addition, uh, as I mentioned, we are rich in, uh, you know, um, fauna that is uh, Shanghai, which is the state only found only in Manipur. It is called, uh, uh, there is a floating lake, uh, a floating island in Loktak Lake, uh, where the um, deers have the uh, paws like duck, and they have just float on the uh, weeds. And, uh, so the, this is only unique uh, deer in the world. And Siroi lily, of course, nowhere it is found. Now it is taken in other place like Botanical Gar uh, Royal Botanical Garden. Then uh, black aromatic rice, as I mentioned, all these things. <coughs> During early 30s, agriculture and allied sectors, uh, we had the uh, main uh, economy of 60% of the total economy was dependent on that. And the oil rice was exported by the Britishers. And uh, there was a crisis, and then the, there was a uh, um, agitation by women. And then uh, <coughs> after 1939, our uh, agriculture has become uh, somewhat uh, developed. Pardon? Eh? What is the time? Eh? No, what time uh, yeah, they have limited? I'm just asking what time they are al uh, allotting for us. 4 p.m. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Don't know. So, <coughs> these are the... Of course, we have the problem of food uh, production because we don't have irrigation. This is one. 
of course, I will not go, but uh, we are uh, running in deficit. Uh, we are uh, having about 98% deficit. <coughs> so now organic, uh, the agriculture, uh, MoMA, of course, uh, Manipur Organic Mission Agency, where our uh, director was the project director. He did a lot of activities and uh, it has become a big uh, uh, organization or uh, you can say agency which can export the, our Manipur products. So these are some of the figures, Wh whoever is interested, I'll just share to you. So we have different districts having different FPOs and we are trying to develop FP, uh, prog uh, this uh, market through the FPOs. These are some of the promotions for um, marketing trainings and the off-season cultivation of field crops like uh, rapeseed, pill peas, processing units and uh, some of the farmers already, uh, FEOs are here who are marketing these products and these are the brandings. The issue is we have the uh, zooming and still it is uncontrolled and we have the planting across the slopes and then uh, heavy soil erosion, which is degrading the fertility of the soil, particularly in hills, where organic will be impossible if we don't stop it. So these are some of the constraints what I'm putting. Of course, we have many issues, right from infrastructure then uh, <coughs> to this marketing, packaging. That's why we requested them uh, for this. Thank you. Any questions, please? Thank you so much, sir. Thanks a lot. Now we will quickly move ahead with our panel discussion. Let's get started. Our moderator for this discussion uh, will be Dr. I make Chandra Singh, sir. Let's get started. Thank you. Any other member is not covered. So now, uh, without wasting our time, I just start, I thank all again, uh, particularly the director of uh, horticulture, uh, horticulture and soil conservation, Government of Manipur, who has uh, just joined. And um, if any issues is to, to be discussed, particularly for promotion of organic high value um, and we need your inputs and if there is any demand from uh, the marketing agencies or any uh, private uh, buyers because uh, we also receive a lot of calls when the season is already over that we need uh, 10 tons of black rice that, we, that does not help because we have to plan at least two seasons ahead if you want uh, something in bulk quantity. So that's why we take this advantage uh, to get the uh, feedback from you. If anyone wants anything, you are welcome, please. Introduce uh, from uh, Dev Dattaji. Yeah, I'm K. Dev Sharma. I'm Director of Horticulture and Soil Conservation Government of Manipur. I'm K. S. Nimaychan. I'm looking up the uh, millets and the uh, chaghao under the Executive Department and uh, Project Officer of the uh, Executive Department. Namaskar. Hello. 
नमस्कार नमस्कार मेरा नाम पूजा शर्मा है मैं गुरुग्राम हरियाणा से हूँ और मैं मिलट पे काम करती हूँ हेलो आई एम सिद्धांत मेरोत्रा फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनिक नेचर वैली एंड वी आर द ऑथराइज मार्केटिंग एजेंसी फॉर मोमा प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक द पाइन एप्पल ब्लैक राइस एंड एक्सेट्रा सो वी वुड रियली लव इफ एनी बड़ी वुड लाइक टू अप्रोच अस फॉर एनी प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑफ द गुड्स एंड वी वुड लव टू हेल्प यू आउट विद द प्रोडक्ट्स थैंक यू Hello, good afternoon. My name is Mukunda Muthi Rao. I am the team leader for the project management unit for MOVCD Anya, supporting the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. If any no money puri raise na jo you are welcome. Any for the farmer is I be all ka. If anything is there to be from the APO side, please tell. Any clarification? Any issues? What I feel is that we have Doctor Sahasa. अभी उसने जो बताया, that was very detailed, and it is all the fundamentals of basic fundamentals, so to say, for the packaging to. Make our food safe, and to increase the shelf life, to make it a presentable one of the products, different products that we have. These have been already deliberated. Now you might be having some questions. Entrepreneurs are there, all uh, and the farmer producer companies are there. Uh, let us take this opportunity. When Sar Sahai is still on the rise, so that we can carry forward, take some more notice. This is one, and again, Mrs. Puja Sharma, whom we have invited. She is a renowned entrepreneur and also a director of one particular company based in Milets, Haryana, isn't it? So. we we in manipur also some entrepreneurs and some of our apcs have already started taking up different activities for production of different ranges of products from our village now to expand our knowledge to gain some more you know uh, uh, technical know how she is already there and it's just our uh, mukunda is there anything related to organic we can take a real real information a detailed information from him so this panel discussion will be a, a, a sort of participatory event interaction thing what i am trying to tell you is that akwegi leiwe apc then leiwe conversing se entrepreneur sing se English the words, Hindi the words, Manipuri the words, discuss the way of a potos. There is that city opportunity. Expert, may I am yawning a valuable can over, but may I am a quite thoroughly invited or in a movie. Dr. Sahasa, he came all the way from Bhubaneswar last night. He landed in Delhi around 12 o'clock at night, midnight, and he must have reached his hotel at our, around 1 1 a.m. I'm sure about it. So it shuts. Masigi difficulties may I am saying single way na na. Ako na buhne so dagi lakpi way na kawa. Then again going back to Mumbai this evening. Sigi kaki lakpani sigi kudong chab si lahu raga. Ako yigi hanging ba sing do. Pasan na hanghuk sam. Ko. This is ay gi supplementary way na. Ako yis sar na haybu dugi supplementary way na. Moderator na haybu dugi supplementary way na ita at talk zone ni. Please. मेरा नाम 
Sanu Sarı Sen, my personal producer, Sanayi Organ Thamar Producer Company, Seven Women. सबसे हम मैं सिफत करता हूँ मैं इतना तो पढ़ाई नहीं है इतना दिमाग इसे आने से पैकेजिंग साथ में है बहुत अच्छा अच्छा दिमाग में हम सोच के पैकेजिंग के सबसे नंबर वन मेन पॉइंट है जितना समय अच्छा होने से पैकेजिंग अच्छा नहीं होने से कोई पसंद नहीं है इतना दिमाग में हम सोच के हम दिल खुशी हो गया हम पढ़ने से मेरा देवदत्त सिंह मेरे साथ सारनिमाई सिंह से अंदर में हम खुद के काम किया है अच्छा दिमाग में अच्छा सोच के पैकेजिंग अच्छा करने के लिए हम दिमाग करने से हम मणिपुर में डेवलपमेंट और चाहो पोरेटोन बेक राइस पहला शाम में बहुत बिजनेस किया अभी भी डिमांड बहुत आ रहा है हम लोग को मणिपुर के सोशल संघ के खराब होने से बारिश भी आ रहा है और कुकी और मिट्टी के रराई भी बहुत चलने से हम किसान को काम करने में बहुत मुश्किल है हम डिमांड तो बहुत आ रहा है करने के देने के टाइम नहीं मिला और सरकार की तरफ से और साहब लोग का इसी तरफ ने दिल्ली से छोड़ा मणिपुर शांति करने के लिए हम अच्छी बात चाहिए हम फार्मर क्योंकि रोने से हम अच्छा नहीं लगता है जो हम जीने तक मरने तक हम काम करेगा उठने के लिए मणिपुर इंडिया सब खाने से मेल पॉइंट ऑर्गेनिक खाना खाने से शरीर में अच्छा है केमिकल खाने से जितना पैसा मिलने से दिल्ली बॉम्बे जाने भी मर सकता है मरता है अच्छा प्रॉफिट मिलने से मेन पॉइंट ऑर्गेनिक चीज खाने से अच्छा है यूज करने के दिल है इतना बोलने भी नहीं सकता है थोड़ा बोलते गलत होने से माफ कर दीजिए गुड आफ्टरनून सर सर जी पहले तो मैं मेरा नाम परिचय देता हूँ आपको डर लग रहा है थोड़ा भी मेरा इंस्टेंट खीर का जो है मेरा स्माइल फूड का मेरा ब्रांड का नाम है स्माइल और मैं ये इंस्टेंट खीर का कुछ प्रोडक्ट निकालती हूँ मतलब जल्द से जल्द खा सके तो बहुत सारा जो प्रोडक्ट है हम लोग ने जो बाहर में जाते हुए फ्लाइट में या तो कई कई भी जगह में खाते हुए देखा है इंस्टेन का बहुत सारे प्रोडक्ट्स जो है बाहर में जो डिमांड से बट हम लोगों को क्या प्रॉब्लम है कि खाने की चीज़ तो बना लेता हूँ इंस्टेन क्या चीज़ है क्या बनाना है उन लोगों के दिमाग बहुत सारे हैं हमारी मणिपुरी में बट पैकेजिंग के बाद कहाँ मतलब कितने दिन तक कौन सा प्रोडक्ट में हम लोग पैकेजिंग करें इंस्टेंट फूड में ख़ास तौर से हम लोग खाना बनाना बन, बना बनाते हैं और चिकन बिरयानी देखे हम लोग ने कई बार कई लोगों का बहुत सारे जो इंस्टेंट खा सकते हैं वो देखा है हमने पर हम लोगों को मतलब बनाने के लिए तमन्ना तो है चाहत है बट बना के कब तक इसको रह, रह सकता है और कौन सी चीज में पैकेजिंग किया जाए उसी में थोड़ा कंफ्यूजन है सर थोड़ा थोड़ा देते हैं मैं आप हेलो हेलो जी जी सुन रहा है सर या बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आई थिंक जो मैं कह रहा था खाने का ऐसा चीज़ है आप हर आदमी खाने का बात कर रहा है कि हर तरह खाना मिलता है लेकिन सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट होती है खाना बनाने के बाद इसका कितना दिन हम सुरक्षित रखें तो सुरक्षित को जिसको हम इंग्लिश में शेल्फ लाइफ बोलते हैं एवरी नो शेल्फ लाइफ का सबसे बड़ा इम्पॉर्टेंट है तो मैंने जैसा एक एक सक्सेस स्टोरी बताया था कलकत्ता का एक कंपनी ने रेस्टोरेंट चला रहा है आपने नाम सुना होगा सिक्स बी करके इनका कई सारे बीस रेस्टोरेंट है ऐसे ही एक कंपनी है साउथ में इन्होंने इडली का चालू किया अभी ये मैप टेक्नोलॉजी से चालू किया क्योंकि पहले ऐसा था कि भाई आपने खाना बनाया फ्रिज में रख लिया तीन दिन हो गया बस खा गो अभी आजकल लाइफ इतनी फास्ट होती है आप समझते कोई रेडी टू ईट जो बना दिया एक दिन बनाया सात दिन तो खाना खाएंगे तो कैसे रखेंगे हाउ टू इंक्रीज बिकॉज फ्रिज में रखने से नहीं होगा तो आपको एक नया टेक्नोलॉजी में जाना है जो मैंने आपको समझाया यहाँ पे एक मॉडिफाइड एटमोसफियर पैकेजिंग से कई सारे प्रोडक्ट हैं मणिपुरी का जो मैंने क्यूजिन देखा है जो हम मैप टेक्नोलॉजी से इसका लाइफ बढ़ा सकते हैं लेकिन सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट है मैं आपको बता दूँ ये खाने का चीज़ है ये कोई भी साइंटिफिक तरीका से टेस्टिंग बिना आप पैकेट में नहीं भर सकते हो दैट मीन्स आपको सबसे पहले एक, एक लेबोरेटरी चाहिए जो ये कंपनी को हमने एडवाइस किया था इन्होंने सबसे पहले एक लेबोरेटरी लगाया बिकॉज एक प्रोडक्ट अगर फूड पॉइजन हो जाएगा तो आपकी सारा ब्रांड खत्म हो जाएगी इमेज खत्म हो जाएगा इसीलिए आपको जो है पहले एक लेबोरेटरी लगाना चाहिए उस लेबोरेटरी में जो भी खाना आप सुरक्षित पैक करोगे इसको पहले चेक करो चेक करके देखो कितना लाइफ है एक दिन दो दिन तीन दिन तब आपको जाना चाहिए मैं डायरेक्टर साहब को एक प्रपोजल दिया है मैं आज सुबह से देख रहा था इनका आपका स्टॉल पे 
कई सारे प्रोडक्ट आप बनाते हो और अच्छे बना रहे हो बट जहाँ तक पैकेजिंग आती है चाहे आप गुवाहाटी से माल खरीदते हो या कलकत्ता से खरीदते हो कहीं दिल्ली से बॉम्बे से लाते हो तो मैंने इनको एक रिक्वेस्ट किया कि आपके डिपार्टमेंट एज ए डायरेक्टर डिपार्टमेंट की तरफ से पैकेजिंग फूड इंडस्ट्री तब तक नहीं ग्रो करेगा जब तक पैकेजिंग इंडस्ट्री नहीं ग्रो करेगा अब जितनी इंडस्ट्री है इसमें सभी हाई कैपिटल इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्री है बट एक इंडस्ट्री है जो कि एम एस एम ई हम इसको कहलाते हैं दो से तीन करोड़ में आप एक फैक्ट्री लगा सकते हो वो है कोरोगेटेड बॉक्स जो आज से दस साल पहले गुवाहाटी में एक भी फैक्ट्री नहीं था आज वहाँ पे क्योंकि इमामी आ गया कई सारे बड़े कंपनी आ गया वहाँ पे आठ कंपनी लग चुका है तो मैंने इनको रिक्वेस्ट किया डायरेक्टर साहब को कि आप इम्फॉल में सोचिए कोई भी यंग स्टार्स हो सोसाइटी हो किसी को इंस्पायर कीजिए भाई आप भी यहाँ पे एक फैक्ट्री लगाओ दो तीन करोड़ खर्च करो क्योंकि खर्च इसीलिए होगा कि मशीन का खर्चा ज़्यादा नहीं है पचास लाख साठ लाख एक करोड़ में मशीन आ जाता है प्रॉब्लम आती है रॉ मटेरियल जो क्राफ्ट पेपर लगेगा वो पेपर ना मणिपुर ना बंगाल में कहीं नहीं मिलेगा आपको लाना पड़ेगा गुजरात से या साउथ से ला के तीन महीने का स्टॉक रखना पड़ेगा दैट मीन वर्किंग कैपिटल इट नीड्स मोर लेकिन वो अगर बॉक्स बनाने का कम से कम एक फैक्ट्री चालू हो तो वो चाहे फ्रेश प्रोडक्ट हो चाहे प्रोसेस प्रोडक्ट हो सभी को ट्रांसपोर्ट पैकेट तो चाहिए चाहिए बॉक्स तो चाहिए वो बिजनेस शुरू हो सकता है तो इस हिसाब से मणिपुर में पैकेजिंग इंडस्ट्री को भी ग्रो करना चाहिए जो मैं समझता हूँ और मैंने इनको सजेस्ट भी किया है इन्होंने कहा कि इसको हम आगे ले जाएंगे मेरे हिसाब से फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री तब तक नहीं ग्रो कर पाएगा जब तक आप पैकेजिंग साथ को नहीं चलेंगे क्योंकि दोनों कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री है खाना आपने बना दिया प्रोसेस बना दिया पर पैक कैसे करोगे कैसे उसको लाइफ बढ़ाओगे मार्केट तक कैसे ले जाओगे इसीलिए आपको चाहिए चाहिए पैकेजिंग Thank you. Uh, I think uh, I request. <laughs> I request uh, Mrs. Pooja Sharma ji uh, to just brief about the your uh, experience on the millet, so that our entrepreneurs can come up, madam, please. आ, सभी को नमस्कार सबसे पहले तो मैं धन्यवाद करना चाहूँगी सर जो आपने मुझे ये अवसर प्रदान किया मैं हरियाणा से हूँ और हरियाणा में ज़्यादातर महिलाएं पशुपालन और खेतीबाड़ी ही करती हैं और घूंघट भी निकालती हैं मतलब आपको हिंदी समझ में आ रही है क्योंकि इंग्लिश ज़्यादा मेरे को नहीं आती <laughs> मैंने दो में शुरुआत की थी मिलट uh, प्रोडक्ट बनाने की मैं एक महिला किसान हूँ और जो हमारे किसान भाई खेतों में पैदा करते हैं उन्हीं चीज़ों को हम किसानों से लेके उसी को वैल्यू एडिशन करके मार्केट में देते हैं और मैंने सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप बनाए हैं गांव में जो महिलाएं जिसके पास आमदनी का कोई साधन नहीं था ऐसी महिलाओं को मैंने अपने साथ में जोड़ा और उनको रोजगार दिया महिला सशक्तिकरण के साथ साथ हम किसानों के आई डबल कैसे कर सकते हैं इस पे मैं काम कर रही हूँ और आज मतलब शुरुआत मैंने बहुत छोटे से की थी क्योंकि आर्थिक स्थिति भी ठीक नहीं थी लेकिन धीरे धीरे कोशिश की और आज 70 से 80 प्रोडक्ट हमारे हैं जो विदेशों तक भी हमारे प्रोडक्ट जाते हैं और फाइव स्टार होटल तक भी आज हमारे काफ़ी तरह के बिस्किट हैं लड्डू हैं मठरी हैं नमकीने और कुकीज़ और आज हम लोगों की डिमांड के अनुसार भी उनको प्रोडक्ट बना कर देते हैं गांव की जो अनपढ़ महिलाएं थी जिनको पढ़ाई लिखाई नहीं आती थी जिनके पास आमदनी का कोई साधन नहीं था उन महिलाओं द्वारा बनाए गए प्रोडक्ट आज विदेशों तक जाते हैं तो ये मेरे लिए बहुत खुशी की बात है साथ में हम अपने किसान भाइयों से भी जुड़े हुए हैं वो जो भी उगाते हैं जैसे बाजरा है जवार रागी चना हम उन्हीं से खरीदते हैं उनको मतलब मार्केट में ले जाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती और उनको अच्छे दाम हम दे पाते हैं ऐसे ही आज मतलब तीन हजार के करीब महिलाओं को हम विजिट करा चुके हैं अपनी यूनिट में 
और ट्रेनिंग भी दे चुके हैं पिछले साल मैंने सिक्किम में जाके ट्रेनिंग दी है तीस महिलाओं को और आज उन महिलाओं ने अपना काम शुरू किया है लगातार मेरे पास फोटो शेयर करती रहती हैं मैम आज देखिए हम दिल्ली आए हैं आज हम यहाँ आए हैं हमने आ, मतलब ये प्रोडक्ट इतने का सेल किया तो बड़ी खुशी होती है मतलब महिलाएँ क्यों हमेशा घर तक ही सीमित रहें महिलाएं कुछ ना कुछ काम करके आगे बढ़ें और अपनी आर्थिक स्थिति को भी सुधारेंगी तो परिवार की आर्थिक स्थिति तो मजबूत होगी ही साथ में जैसे मैंने एसएचजी बना रखे हैं तो इससे क्या है कि हम और महिलाओं को भी साथ लेके चल सकते हैं और उनको रोज़गार दे सकते हैं तो मैं चाहती हूं कि सभी महिलाएं कुछ ना कुछ काम करें क्यों महिलाएँ हमेशा ऐसे हाथ रखें क्यों ना उनके हाथ देने वाले हों आज मैंने अपने सिटीज मिलेट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नाम से एक कंपनी भी बनाई है और गांव में ही 12 एस बनाए हैं पूरे देश की महिलाएं मेरे से जुड़ी हुई हैं फ़ोन पे सलाह लेती हैं देखिए मैं कम पढ़ी लिखी हूँ कम पढ़ी लिखी होते हुए और घूंघट से राष्ट्रपति भवन तक का सफ़र मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ी बात है मैं प्रेजिडेंट अवार्डी हूँ और मतलब घूंघट से और खेतों से लेकिन आज मैं अपनी गाड़ी खुद ड्राइव करती हूँ और राष्ट्रपति भवन से लेके आज मैं जैसे जहाज में ट्रेनिंग देने के लिए अलग अलग देश के हिस्सों में जाती हूँ लेक्चर के लिए कि हम महिला सशक्तिकरण के साथ साथ किसानों के आई डबल कैसे कर सकते हैं ये मेरा टॉपिक होता है तो बड़ी खुशी होती है जब महिलाएं आगे बढ़ती हैं मैंने कभी नहीं सोचा था आज मैं आपके बीच में बैठी हूँ नहीं तो मेरे सिर पर चारा होता था धन्यवाद we are running a uh, short of time and the organizers are pressing very hard sorry we for the inconvenience to all and uh, uh, i take this opportunity to invite dr sha with the permission of the <coughs> um, thank you director, so much that let us call a um, uh, program uh, at impal and uh, who, so that we organize in a better way at least for two three days and uh, madam also same thing okay. हम आपको रिक्वेस्ट करते हैं एक बार आइए टू एनकरेज अवर एफ पी ओस इन मिलेट्स ठीक है आप एक बार आना चाहिए थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सो मच कैन यू हैव यूज राउंड प्लस ऑल ऑफ यू लेट्स मूव अड विद फेलिसिटेशन सेरेमनी आई काइंडली रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर आई मेघा चंद्र सिंह सर प्लीज मूव अड एंड फेलिसिटेट प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर एन सी साहा कैन यू हैव यूज राउंड प्लस and i kindly request sir also please join us atalia basti rehne chahiye can we have big round of applause we have sir coering also with here with us and he is also felicitating Talia Talia come on <laughs> it was a amazing session i would say moving ahead okay moving ahead next felicitation uh, i kindly request sir please move ahead and felicitate dr i make chandra singh sir Talia come on he moderated the session so well and next i kindly request uh, shri mukunda murthy rao pmu mov cd ner let's uh, felicitate him next we have uh, dr shalini gaur senior scientist phd iari new delhi Talia Thank you so much next we have uh, Shri K H Nimai Chand Singh P O M O M A Agriculture Manipur next we have shri siddhant kerotra director organic nature valley private limited okay 
ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव मिसेस पूजा शर्मा डायरेक्टर ऑफ क्षितिज मिलित प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एंड प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ क्षितिज सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Let's have. Now next we have Ya yeah, Shri N Gajendra, Director, Agriculture Manipur. <laughs> okay. We have Shri K Devadatta Sharma, Director. Okay. Let's have a group photo. No, wait, wait, wait. Let's have a group photo. Uh. Let's have a group picture. All of you, please. Let's have a group picture. Let's have a nice group picture, and it was a lovely, lovely session. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here with us.